definitely going to touch a lot of people. And this is one of the things that makes you a champion. So you listen up close. I'm not going to be facing the camera because I'm talking to my fighters and all the fighters and coaches that are listening. But one thing I told you guys is that when we learn the skills, that the skills was only one part. That just shows how good of a student you are. That means your frontal cortex is where you remember things. Your ABCs, counting the 10, all of the little things that got you from here to where you, how to make a right turn and a left turn. That's what your frontal cortex is for. Your hippocampus is the things that trans you back to the history and where you came from. You remember being five years old in kindergarten, things like that, your long-term memories. But when it comes down to the skills, these are the things that are indirect. They're in your muscle memory. The drills we do to get you to a point where if something comes your way, you know how to do this instinctively when you see it, right? That skill. But what you guys have to know that it takes, what it takes to become a champion is how you take all of that stuff and put it to the back of your mind and allow that stuff to surface on its own. Don't think about it. Don't try and think about it. Allow it to come to the front of your mind. Any fighter or any athlete that becomes champion on his own, in that instance, a, a fighter, you will see a fighter, he'll go out there and get a belt. The guy he beat may rematch him. You know the chance of that dude beating him again? Beating him? They drop 30%, well, 31%, right? Because what happens is when a guy gets that moment and he remembers all that stuff that he did to get to that point, he, at that point in time, he knows damn well that that, he belongs right there. It's affirmation. When that motherfucker hand go up, at that point in time, he knows he's the best fighter on the goddamn planet. He did everything it took to get to that point. That's affirmation. From that point, you don't have to ask any more questions. Everybody who doubted you, they got to eat crow. So whenever a guy becomes champion, it's not about his skills. It's not about all the drills. Because that only played in one part, which was the frontal cortex and then the muscle memory. This is not just talk. Watch everybody who becomes a champion from that moment on, whether it's Lennox Lewis, whether it's Evander Holyfield, Riddick Bowe, Sugar Shane, it does not matter. You fight that guy again, and if it was an even fight, the next time, you're going to get stopped because he's 30% better. That's proven fact. When a dude received that title, you fight a different guy the next time because everything he thought he could be, it's a reality now. So now you fight that guy, when you walk out, he not, you got to figure out how he beat you the first time. And now he done added wrinkles. The things that he wasn't sure about if he could do in the ring. Now he fainting when he do his motherfucking move. Now he's really going for that body shot. He's doing all the things that he wasn't sure of before. Because that's what happens when you're in a fight and you fall over and over and you listen to the coaches and then you go back and you go to our stuff and you review it and you look at the video and you keep on taking things. And every day you walk in there, nobody else knows what your agenda is but you. So we. The best learning day is the day you don't do well. You have a chance to come back. You ain't got the title, but one thing you did that every great champion must do, that's lose. To come back from a loss shows that you got character and shows that it's not all about you. You're willing to follow the process. So when you get back in that fucking ring, you got another chance. It's not your last fight. You get to go in there and shine and show them that I'm worthy of wearing a strap around my waist. And not only wearing it, getting it that one time, but I 
and worthy of being the undisputed champion. I can carry the title because I've been groomed for it. Not to just win the championship, but to own it and reign like Archie Moore, Joe Lewis. I'm talking about the guys who got it. And it basically has their last name on the back of it because they kept it so long. Decade, Archie Moore. 12 years, Joe Lewis. 25 title defenses that still hadn't been broken. You get it? That was his title. So when it comes to becoming a champion, it's about the drills, it's about the skills, and then it's about the choices to come back from something. And you go too long without coming back from something negative. But when you get to come back from something negative, then you get a fresh start to show that you can take this to another level because you didn't take it to the next, the next level the last time. So becoming a champion resides you know what I'm saying? And you can control that in the ring. So the next time when you get in that ring, think of this as an opportunity to work for Apple as, as CEO. Because that's what you are. You're CEO of your body. You're CEO of your mind. It's inner champ. Throw the jab. Pop. Triple the jab. Pop, pop. Pop. Show them a different look. Change the level. Give them a different posture. Do all of those things. He can't stop you. No man can. That's how you become a champ. And that's all I got. Be blessed, God. Speed.